Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Walillahi Alhamd Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر 
لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر 
أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر 
لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد السلام عليكم no harm you back there Amar, can you hear me? We can't. Uh, we have, uh, we're going to start in 10 minutes, the prayer. And it's two rakat. The first rakat, we'll have seven takbirat in addition to the normal one. So you'll have the first one. You raise your hands. Then the popular opinion is to put your hands by the side. And then we have seven more takbirat before I start the fatiha. And then the second rakat, the same thing. You have the normal uh, takbir that you start. And then you have five more. And then we'll have the khutbah after that, inshallah. Omar, can you hear me? Yeah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. الله أكبر ولله الحمد. Crank it up all the way. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر. لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر. الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر Allahu Akbar wa lillahi alhamd Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah Allahu Akbar الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر 
Two minutes, the prayer. The first part, like I said, is has seven takbirat in addition to the normal one. And the second one has five in addition to the normal one. So we'll start in two minutes and say Allah. Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar. La ilaha illallah Allahu akbar Allahu akbar wa lillahi alhamd Allahu akbar Allahu akbar Allahu akbar لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر 
La ilaha illallah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar walillahi alhamd Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد Allahu Akbar 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 Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى 
سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشق الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر 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 الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغبوب عليهم ولا والين هل أتاك حديث الواشية وجوه يومئذ خاشعة عاملة ناصبة تصلى نارا حامية تسقى من عين آنية ليس لهم طعام إلا من ضريع لا يسمن ولا يغني من جوع وجوه يومئذ ناعمة بسعيها راضية في جنة عالية لا تسمع فيها لاغية فيها عين جارية فيها سرر مرفوعة وأكواب موضوعة ونمارق مصفوفة وذرابي مبثوثة أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبل كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نؤسد وإلى الجبال كيف نصبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر 
ذكر لست عليهم بمسيطر إلا من تولى وكفر فيعذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا إيابهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر Can you all hear me back there? I'm going to try. So whose idea was it to have me do 30 minutes of tech before, uh, before I speak? Not a great idea. Um, <clears throat> Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Allah Akbar alhamd. For those of you that know me, know that most of the time I'm a man of few words. So my khutbah today is be a good Muslim. There have been khutbahs where I've walked away not learning a whole lot. So it was really just be good Muslim. Um, but I hope that I can share a few things that I've learned in the last few years, couple of years, really, that are beneficial, inshallah, and that trigger, you know, some thought or some action. Alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'afiruhu. All praise is due to Allah. We thank Him. We seek His guidance and His forgiveness. Wa na'udhu billahi min shuroori anfusina. We seek protection in Allah from the malice of our own souls. ومن سيئات أعمالنا and from the evil in our actions من يهده الله فلا مضل له whoever Allah guides no one can lead astray ومن يضلل فلا هادي له and whoever he, whoever he leads astray cannot be brought to the right path by anyone يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته O you who believe fear Allah as he rightfully should be feared ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون and die not except as Muslims يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا O you who believe fear Allah uh, as he rightfully should be feared and always say a word directed to the truth يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم that he may make your actions sound and whole and forgive you your sins وَمَنْ يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ And whomever, whomever obeys Allah and His Messenger, فَقَدْ فَازَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا 
has then attained the very highest of achievement. I see a lot of kids here, and it's great to see everyone. Everyone looks like they've stepped out of their COVID clothes and dressed up, alhamdulillah. And uh, um, I know that the kids are very good at using their imagination. And adults are less so, but I'd like to ask for you to use your imagination today as I share some thoughts. And I'm also having, uh, having to um, have you guys do some math. I know that many of the kids recently took their star test. So consider this your crescent te test. See what I did there with the star, the crescent, the Eid. Uh, I ask Allah to accept our fast, prayers, du'as, and recitation. Sheikh Omar Suleiman in one of his khutbahs describes angels that are constantly glorifying Allah from the moment they were created until the day of judgment. And these angels occupy every inch of the seven heavens. So you can see the one sky, the first sky, and imagine seven skies above this, and every inch of, these, of this space is occupied by angels, Magnif magnificent creatures, magnificent beings, made of light some have two wings some have three some have four angel jibril has 600 wings made of light and jibril and and these angels have wings with pearls and rubies and diamonds sort of falling from their wings just imagine this sight i know the kids can do that imagine these angels occupying every space and angel jibril's um wings extend the entire horizon. So if you can look as far as you can, I can see to my right, some light poles way there at the end of the sky there. And then on the other, on this side, you can't see that far, but imagine the entire horizon. And these angels have been glorifying Allah from the day they were created to the day of judgment, constantly, every second. And what do they say at, on the day of judgment? On the Day of Judgment, they say to Allah, we did not do enough. We did not do the amount of glorification that you deserve. The entire lifetime, they've spent their entire life just glorifying Allah. And so Allah gives us the same opportunity of a lifetime. And so here's the first crescent test for the kids. Allah says Laylatul Qadri khayrun min alfi shahr, that the night of power is better than a thousand months. Okay, so here's a test for the kids. How many years is a thousand months? A thousand months. One year is 12 months. 83 years, an entire lifetime. So that one night is worth the entire lifetime of worship. And so one of the signs um, one of the signs of a Ramadan that's ex accepted by Allah is that you long for another Ramadan. You long for another chance to have caught this night of power, to have an entire lifetime of worship recorded in your scales. So the dua is, Allahumma balidna Ramadan, say ameen, so that we see another Ramadan and the next and the next. And the second sign of a Ramadan that's accepted by Allah is that you commit to maintaining the level of ibadah and awareness of Allah and taqwa past Ramadan, right? So Allah says, Ya amanu kutiba alaykum kama kutiba min qablikum la'allakum He says, O oh those, O oh you who believe, we have written for you fasting just like we prescribed fasting for those before you so that you may gain taqwa and so you have these opportunities after opportunities and you commit to continuing this ibadah these two things right the first one is that you long for another ramadan and two is that you commit to extending maintaining the same level of spirituality and ibadah after ramadan and it won't be easy it's not easy because you'll have distractions because um, you'll have distractions and um, so the, you have to find a way to refocus almost like your New Year's resolution. You almost constantly 
have to be aware of it and refocus. But how would you do that? Imam Asimov, a lot of you know Imam Asimov, the East Austin, uh, East Austin Mosque. And one Fajr, about two years ago, after Fajr, he uh, casually mentioned something that has really stuck to me to this day. And so if you can imagine Imam Asim, he does the, you know, gets very animated, very loud, and then he'll get very soft. And then he'll fix his hat, fix his cap, you know, do that. And um, he, um, he mentioned after, after Fajr, one of these days, he said, every time you go from standing up in uh, prayer, from standing up to rukur, you say, Allahu Akbar. And then you go from standing up to sujood. You say, Allahu Akbar. And your mind wanders during prayer. But every time you say, Allahu Akbar, and go from one position to the next, that you're really acknowledging that Allah is greater than whatever thought, whatever wandering thought you had. And you have all those opportunities during the prayer, during one rak'ah, to refocus and refocus and refocus. So here's another, another uh, present exercise for the kids. Count how many times we said Allahu Akbar in the Eid Takbir. I said that many times for 30 minutes. And I lost my voice almost. So count with me. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd. How many is that? Five? And then how many times do you say Allahu Akbar in one rakah? Okay, so let's count that. Allahu Akbar, you stand up. Allahu Akbar, you go to Ruku. Allahu Liman Hamidah, that doesn't count. Allahu Akbar, you go to sujood. Then you sit up, Allahu Akbar. Go back to sujood. That's five. So he says, these five Allahu Akbar, you have five opportunities in one rakah to refocus. So from one prayer to the next. So today you have Bohr, then you have Asr, then you have Maghrib, Isha, and then tomorrow and so on. Five prayers every day. And five times during those prayers, during each rakah of those prayers, you have five chances to refocus. And then every Jum'ah to the next Jum'ah, you have a chance to refocus. And I share this because our intention is to maintain the Ramadan level of ibadah, right? And we will have to refocus. Why? Because shaitan's been locked up for 30 days. So I want the kids to imagine you have a can of soda, Coca-Cola, that you've been shaking for 30 days. 30 days you hold this can, you've been shaking it. Every time you say, Allahu Akbar, you're shaking the can. Every time you say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an Muhammad Rasulullah, you're shaking that can. Every time you recite, every time you go to taraweeh, Every time you do a good deed, every time you invite someone for iftar, every time you in order iftar for someone else on Uber Eats or DoorDash, any of those good deeds, every time you did that, what were you doing? You were shaking that can. And last night when you broke iftar and you prayed Maghrib, guess what happened to that can? It popped open. So shaitan is out with a vengeance. So you're going to have to really. Remember the five times, five prayers, five takbirat of Eid. You will remember this is what we talked about. You will remember to refocus, inshallah. Um, sorry, I'm not, I'm not one to give khutbahs or volunteer for public speaking, but after COVID, I was like, sign me up. I want to, I want to be out here. Uh, the time spent self-quarantining and social, distance, social distancing has really forced us to value the things that are important to us and essential for our sanity. So looking beyond this Ramadan, looking beyond COVID, hopefully vaccinated, we can slowly emerge from our isolation and navigate to what our new normal will look like. We're like children learning to walk taking our first steps into a different world with a chance to reinvent ourselves. So let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned over the past 14 months 
what are priorities now? Have they changed? Um, who are the people that you surround yourself with? Have they brought you peace and closer to Allah? And as we move toward the light at the end of the tunnel of a corona-free world, how has your path changed? Or will you go back to your old ways? Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. I can't finish the khutbah without thinking of Mufti Umar's superhero references. He had the Peter Parker and he understood the superhero series better than, better than I did. Um, so I want to make a dua for him. He really was a special man and really embodied the spirit of community. And I really miss him. I, I learned a lot from him. Allahumma gfir lahu wa rahamhu wa aafihu wa aafu anhu wa akram nuzulahu wa wasi mudkhalahu wa aghsilhu bil maa'i wa thalj wa dar wa naqtihi min al-khataya kama yanqi al-thawb al-abiyad min al-danas wa abdilhu daran khayran min daari wa adkhilu al-jannat al-fadawus al-a'la وَعِذْهُ مِنْ عَذَابِ الْقَبْرِ وَمِنْ عَذَابِ النَّارِ Oh Allah, forgive him and have mercy on him, protect and pardon, honor his rank, and make his resting ground spacious and wide, and wash him with pure and fresh and cold water, and purify him from any impurity or sin, just as the white cloth is cleansed of stains, and make his abode in the hereafter better than his previous life, and admit him to Jannah, and protect him from the torment of the grave and the torment of the fire. In memory of his superhero references, I'd like to recognize the superheroes of this past year, our essential workers from our grocery store and restaurant staff to those that are delivering our online orders, healthcare employees, to all the emergency workers who risk their safety through the snowstorm to ensure that we had access to our basic services restored. While our elected officials were escaping to Cancun, it was these superheroes who continued to make the best out of some really difficult situations. And they did their best to save the day. Allahumma asrih lana deenan alladhi huwa ismatu amrina wa asrih lana dunyaya alladhi fiha ma'ashuna wa asrih lana akhiratina alladhi fiha ma'aduna واجعل الحياة زيادة لنا من كل خير واجعل الموت راحة لنا من كل شر O Allah direct us aright in our faith which guides our affairs and direct us aright in our life in which we have our being and set aright our hereafter which is our resort and make our life filled with every type of good and make our death a comfort from all ill اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد هو الله exalt the mention of Muhammad and the ummah of Muhammad as you exalted the family of Ibrahim you are praised and glorious هو الله bless Muhammad and the Ummah of Muhammad, as you have blessed the Ummah of Ibrahim, you are praised and glorious. O oh Allah, bless and forgive those that we have lost this past year. Widen their graves and fill them with light. And bring health to those who are infirm after the ravages of illness and bring tranquility to grieving families left behind. O oh Allah, guide us to use our gifts and service to you to relieve the burdens of our community. O oh Allah, shelter those without shelter. Restore peace around the world to areas of calamity in Palestine and Rohingya and so on. O oh Allah, soften our hearts 
and sharpen our minds to benefit those around us, teach us the value of compassion, and strengthen and heal our relationships. O oh Allah, forgive our parents as they looked after us when we were small. O oh Allah, guide our leaders to decisions that benefit us all. O oh Allah, cleanse our hearts of hate, instill in us mercy as you are the most merciful and most compassionate. I would love to see every pod over here. We've got multiple pods. Every pod wish Eid Mubarak to every other pod, which brings me to my last crescent exercise for the kids. And I've got a present for anyone who gets this. How many Eid air hugs will we get if every pod hugs every other pod? It's a quadratic equation. Um, but I've embarrassed my family enough. COVID Mubarak, Aya. Eid Mubarak, the Kul Aman Tim Bakir, was Salam Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakat. Salam Alaikum, everyone. Everyone, Faze, thank you so much for doing the Takbir and the Khutbah. All of you, thank you all for being here. I know it's cold, but it's better than the hot sun on your faces. Uh, guys, so uh, they're at Round Rock Donuts. Uh, they're all individually packaged. Help yourself. The kids, there are juice drinks. Adults, there's coffees. And then uh, there are goodie bags for the kids. So help yourselves. Thank you all for being here. Eid Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi